you, you can ask, am I free to leave? And then depending on the answer, you know, you can do that. Now they may want to stop you and search you. You can, ver you can say, I do not consent to a search. One of the things you might want to say with that is I do not consent to a search, but I am not, I will not resist your search. Well, you don't want to be again, resisting the police. So that's interfering but you'd want to be very clear that you don't consent to a search of you, your car, or anything else. Uh, but then don't resist them if they're doing it. Hopefully the body cam's on and hopefully your I, I do not consent will then be on the camera and later on it can be litigated whether they had a right to search you or your car or not. With regard to uh, uh, something you brought up in terms of answering the police's questions, if you ever have a question about what answer a question, ask yourself this, is there anything about uh, volunteering information or, or answering a question that could potentially be used against you? If you think in those things, in, in those terms, you're probably going to say, nah, I want to talk to my lawyer because I don't know the answer to that question. As soon as you say, I want to talk to my lawyer before I answer any questions, and you can say it just like that, um, they're supposed to stop. Now, they may not, but that's something to be litigated. As long as you've made it verbally clear to them that you're not interested in, in cooperating, that you're not answering any questions. Bob, in terms of an arrest warrant, do they need to open the door or just come out? Or what would your recommendation uh, be? My recommendation is just come out. Uh, if you, Here's the thing about arrest warrants. If they have a valid arrest warrant for you, or even if it's not a valid warrant, that's something we can litigate down the road. But the idea of, of, of getting them in your your house can really be problematic if you, um, the typical example is when the, uh, say a, a drug unit shows up at a residence. Uh, they may have a warrant for somebody and what happens is basically people will start to open their door and the officer will then get his foot in the door and her foot in the door and uh, the next thing you know, it leads to a question of whether or not you consented or not. So what you want to do is you want to make it clear. You want a lawyer before you answer any questions. So I want a lawyer. I do not consent to the search. I will not resist you if you do it, if you are going to do it without my consent. Because you don't want to be interference. You don't want to be beaten by the police or anything else. So I won't resist you, but I do not consent is the safest way of approaching these things. And be clear, say it, think about it ahead of time so that you are ready with these kinds of uh, focuses.